Hey, Cross Points. I, this is gonna be kind of a different, kind of weird video maybe. Um, I just wanna communicate one simple point to you uh, as we enter into a, an exciting weekend. Um, this Sunday, uh, again, we're meeting at 9 and 10.30 in person. We're, um, we have a baptism service during the 10.30 service. Uh, we're not gonna ask the people being baptized to, to bat we're not gonna baptize them twice. We're just gonna do it at the 10.30 service. Uh, two, two people have decided they wanna go public with their faith and their, um, their union with Jesus. And so we're gonna celebrate that uh, Sunday morning. I'm also excited to share with you a word that God has put on my heart, something I've been thinking about a long time that has to do with honor and um, and how important it is to create a culture of honor in our church. And so we're gonna talk about that on, on Sunday. But um, the one thing I wanted to really share with you today has to do with community. And one thing I've been learning about our church and as I talk to more and more people, and a lot of people I'm talking to are feeling very isolated and disconnected and alone and they're struggling with discouragement and it's uh it's it's really good for me to hear that and it's really hard at the same time and i i i, I know that there are people who feel that way and who feel like they're carrying burdens that they can't get out from under they don't know how to fix it they don't know what to do they just feel discouraged and 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 a big part of that i think is just the isolation that we've all succumbed to in 2020. And um, there's, there's so many people in our church who are still disconnected, who haven't been to a service, who haven't been to a small group, people that I have literally not seen in over six months. And so I just want to encourage you guys this weekend, how important it is um, to be part of to be, to be part of the church body and how important it is for you to be connecting in a small group. And I wanna illustrate this uh, by showing you guys something. All right, so this is, uh, this is our chicken coop. And uh, we have, I don't know, 11 or 12 chickens. They're pretty small yet, uh, but they're in our coop now. And as you can see, um, this, this little structure right here is the coop, that's where they sleep at night. And then the rest of this is the chicken run where they can be out and roam around and stuff like that. And when we first put the chickens in the coop, we we had this part of the coop opened up as well. As you can see, this is the largest area that they can kind of roam around. And you know, it's kind of, this isn't pretty, is it? But as you can see, we've actually put a gate in, uh, to block off this larger area. And the reason we did that is because for for the first week that the chickens were in the coop, they had too much space and they they hadn't figured out that at night they need to go up this little ramp and into the coop and perch uh in the coop so that they can sleep and be protected from the elements and from wild animals and stuff we've lost quite a few chickens to predators um and part of the reason is the predators can see them and hear them and smell them and they come out at night so we wanted them to be safe safely tucked away in the coop the only way for us to be able to get them to safety was to block off this larger section and make the space smaller. So what does it have to do with small groups? Small groups is how we make the space smaller. Um, it's, it's a way for us to, uh, to shepherd and take care of and disciple and protect our people um, from, from sin and from fear and anxiety and all those things that uh, that seek to disconnect us and dislodge us from our firm foundation of, of Jesus Christ and, and his body, the church. And in small groups, that's where um, that's where friendships happen. That's where spiritual most of our spiritual growth happens. That's where true community really happens and unfolds and develops. And so sometimes we have to block off that larger section and, and um, help people see the the value and the safety and the blessings of being in a smaller space with a smaller group of people who you can really uh go deeper with you know what i mean so at this time you know there's we have about 12 small groups that are meeting uh, all over the milwaukee area the greater milwaukee area and we have groups in milwaukee county we have groups in waukesha county and um we 
are there are quite a few groups that there's actually a couple groups that have uh are, are going through some changes and there's a, a um, quite a few people who've sort of been displaced and it's so important right now more important than ever before uh it's so important to be connected to other christians other brothers and sisters in christ who you can meet together regularly with pray together with carry each other's burdens um you know rejoice with and and maybe even cry with if that's what you need people who you can go through life with who share your faith who share your values who share your convictions and you guys don't have to agree on everything but you do you know it, it is important um, for you to agree that uh, you you all need each other and you need more of Jesus in your life. And so I want to encourage you guys, if you're not in a small group right now, to uh, to get into a small group. And, and probably the easiest way to do that is just to reach out to me or reach out to Nicole at info at crosspointwestdallas.com and just say, hey, where, where, what are the small groups uh, that are meeting right now? Where are they meeting? You know, what are the times, locations? You know, can I bring my kids? and all of those types of questions and we want to make it as easy as possible for you nicole has uh created a digital um listing of the groups and with all the information you need and um i appreciate her for doing that so it just makes it a little easier for us to navigate but it's just this this is something that i would ask you not to put off i would ask you to make it a priority because i think you need it i mean i know i need it and there's so many other people who have been uh richly blessed by being in a, in a small group and developing those relationships and friendships that's one of our core values i mean we have four core values gospel relationships movement and multiplication and relationships are that's the value that has taken the hardest hit this this year because we've been scattered we've been disconnected and isolated and we need to get back together it's really important that we get back together and um i'm telling you even if it's with one other couple you know it's so important for us to be nurturing those relationships and it, it honors God when we do that. So, so don't hesitate, uh, get in a group and, um, and I think you'll be really glad that you did.